we're on easy street And it feels so sweet Cause the world is but a treat When you're on easy street Welcome to the Easy Street Radio Show Hosted by Rob Scribner Grab a cup of coffee and let's get started This video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags Available in Amazon right now Hi guys and welcome to Easy Street. This is episode, I believe, 39, something like that. And uh, welcome to the show. And today we're going to discuss um, some event, not sure what, but so mark this on your calendar, April 29th and May 12th. <laughs> just, just mark them. Just, just, let's see if we can have uh, some, some, one of these dates actually do something. So apparently on April 29th, uh, this um, we have this big comic called um, Atlas, which is supposed to be pretty darn big. Uh, you know, it compares to the sun. I guess it's they're saying that the center of it's actually kind of small, but the atmosphere of it's really large, and uh, it's going to be kind of equivalent to what they say this uh, uh, Planet X thing will do, whatever. But won't be hitting us no nope, it's going right on by but apparently it's so big that it could possibly affect our uh atmosphere or magnetic um magnetic field things like that which really could cause some unique um, events uh on earth and uh so apparently that's going to be in the area around april 29th now may 12th i'm not sure what's supposed to happen it's supposed to be just a you know, uh, you know, quite the event type thing where all of us are going to go, hmm, what's happening? And uh, I'll blame that on Paul Bigley. <laughs> and uh, uh, he, he's got a guy uh, called Mike around the world. He um, he uh, seems to claim that that's going to be a, a, a unique day. So <sighs> being Christian, I <laughs> just get to the point. Um, we know by reading our uh, book of life you might say um, that events are going to happen and it's not described as an event to be scared of it's an event to actually embrace and if you had faith you would find that it's two ways of going one is you just will be called up uh, to avoid big events like we're talking about and or we'll live through it, um, possibly having to defend what we believe in and maybe even for the cause, die for that cause and uh, still receive the same gift that uh, is promised to us. So with people of faith, um, knowing that these things kind of things are maybe going to happen or it will be happening as described in uh, several parts of the Bible, um, rest assured look up basically what it says and and be aware that um there's a plan and uh so uh i'm not sure if that picture behind me is actually the comment <laughs> i don't know um but yeah it's um so this isn't a gloom and doom video this is one of uh awareness to two unique dates maybe it's between those dates 29th all the way through that uh, great events are going to possibly happen. I'm not predicting a thing. I'm just kind of reporting it and uh, bringing kind of a different aspect to it. Like you should always be prepared for something. For example, I've told you before that I'm a prepper. And uh, so uh, uh, before I pre tell you any more about this, I need to make my background move a little bit. So. Hang in there a sec. I'm going to snap my fingers. Okay, guys, I'm back. And now my background is moving. How about that? So um, anyway, uh, uh, as a prepper, um, we've told you all on, it's always good to prepare for anything. And so um, it could be power going out. It could be a, a big event. It could be a flooding. It could be a, a storm, tornadoes, whatever. You should have two, three weeks worth of supplies at home. Or I highly suggest two to uh, one or two months worth 
and for sure if you could do it up to six months or better and that means uh, food uh, water that means ammunition guns um, things to cook with uh, medical uh, equipment all kinds of little odds and ends and you don't have to do it all at once um, but yeah I mean if April 9th 29th and all that becomes a real problem you may be a little late but um, for example when we had all this disastrous thing on toilet paper um, and uh, once again I'll make you a really good deal on toilet paper if you need any um, anyway uh, uh, we didn't have a problem because we actually have several cases stored here already so unfortunately I had to go into my supply a little bit um, but uh, that's what it was for and so paper towels and toilet paper we had tons of we've not had to be a victim of this hoarding stuff we already hoarded <laughs> anyway but um getting back to you know there's always going to be something out there saying that the end is near or something's going to happen this isn't like supposed to be the end it's supposed to be an event events um it could be one big event that causes many other events that everybody's been kind of talking about cascadia um, uh, a lot of our volcanoes acting up a lot of our earthquakes um, unusual weather um, could it be uh, started from this event and uh, if you read your Bible and understand things like, uh, that this kind of stuff is supposed to happen anyway if it does it just tells you that a bigger events going to happen and so it's not one thing to be scared of it's actually something to embrace if you have faith but um, uh, yeah I just thought I kind of bring that up is this is yeah it's easy and it's easy to get depressed and bummed out and of course uh, the conspiracies of all of us being at home and it seems like why are we all at home for a a virus that uh, basically is not even worse than the flu and several other things yet the entire world is locked down are they using this as a tool to keep us at home because an event may be coming and it actually might be a better way to handle it uh, if so hey thanks appreciate it <laughs> if not uh, just a coincidence could be I just I just can't believe that the world while while I can't believe it might be kind of odd because the whole world's agreeing to do one thing is keep everybody home and and wipe out our economies all at once seems a little odd but at the same time I just can't believe that all these countries would want to wipe out their economies uh, over this um, and uh, what was the saying is um, when the fix hurts people more than the actual problem then maybe we need to reevaluate just what we're doing here because um, we can't sustain this very long but it seems like they're awful eager to do it um, and there may be another cause behind it so who knows I, I'm not saying there is or isn't I'm just <laughs> telling you some of the things I'm re hearing in reports um, when is this uh, particular um, Atlas uh, seems unusually big and coming near not going to hit us but it, it could cause events on earth to happen because of uh, it's got a large atmosphere to it which is kind of fascinating uh, the best thing you do is uh, uh, life is life live for the now uh, be grateful for what we got if things change just like now things have changed and uh, we're all locked up at home and stuff we make the best of it and we make the best lives possible um, be grateful if we can still get food we have shelters over our head I know we're all worried about bills and how to pay for things now that we're having problems with money I'm glad we're in the United States as opposed to some other countries so uh, uh, at the same time during all this be grateful and if you have faith study find out what's going on the last chapter will actually uh, in the Bible will actually explain a few things to you um, if it doesn't make sense to you there's little training videos out there in YouTube all over that can help you interpret what you're reading and uh, I'll just leave it at that
But all this is actually documented. Eventually, all these kind of things are going to happen. And uh, it's a uh, it's a sign. And when it is happening, it just says basically, look up. <laughs> just look up because uh, um, our time comes near. And uh, uh, but a very good thing will happen. Uh, something that needs to be done. Um, I, I, I tend to agree the old saying that if people are not the best of people or maybe don't have uh, are not good or evil or etc it reflects on the earth uh, nature tends to pick up on it and uh, I don't know if you're a believer in that or not but sometimes I wonder with all the things we got going on and some of the craziness and some of the funny beliefs out there and and uh, uh, I won't go all into that because I, <laughs> uh, I got to take care of myself, let alone blame other people or judge them. But I do feel like uh, if uh, enough people are negative, it's kind of like law of attraction. We bring negative onto this earth. And uh, I'm not talking about climate change and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about people, um, attitudes, um, atheism um things like that uh i think that does catch up with a with a race one way or another as people and uh luckily i think one of the graces that help with the united states is the fact that we support israel and everything because if you ever read the bible ever get around to it you'll realize that israel is our measuring point and it what happens there and the events that happen there is is um, a measuring point for us to understand where we are in our life and our relationships with God. Remember him? Yeah. No, it's not rum and coke. Just coke. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, April 29th, May 12th. Put Just mark those down. Just be aware. Um, I don't know if anything's really going to happen. Um, Nobody seems to be telling the, the truth anymore. Don't know what to believe, but I thought it'd be interesting to bring it up. Love to hear your comments, please, down below. Leave your comments. On, tell me what you understand, what you've heard. If you've heard anything, maybe this is all hogwash. Could be, could be, totally. Um, I uh, do want to press on that law of attraction. Be good people, good, be good to yourself, be good to our, our country, be good to our leaders, be good to your family. Uh, look up, possibly revisit your faith. Um, I am not one, I'm not qualified to be someone to teach that. All I can do is tell you, there's a lot of great people out there to listen to. Tom Hughes is a good one. There's a lot of other uh, great uh platforms out there to listen to you don't have to go to a church in fact a lot of churches won't even teach you what's critical this actually the last chapter in the bible is like the most critical to teach and they're afraid to teach it because it's kind of scary it, it's not scary it's not scary at all but anyway guys i want to thank you very much for listening to easy street this one out of our easy street shorts uh, i hope you enjoyed it please once again leave comments um uh, I prefer that the professional and uh, could be good. You don't have to agree. You can disagree or add to it, whatever you want. Uh, this isn't, I'm not making fun of anybody put out those dates and I'm not making fun of people that don't believe in this stuff. I'm not making fun of people that are, uh, uh, don't have faith or any uh, uh, foundation of, of a, um, I, mean, I hate to use the word religion because religion is man-made. Faith is not. Anyway, so guys, thank you for listening to Easy Street. Leave your comments. Please share our videos. And uh, we'll be doing uh, full full shows here pretty soon here. Um, we're not using uh, Good Talk Radio anymore. I actually had to shut that down because we have tighter budgets here too. So we shut down the radio station. But you can find um, uh, Easy Street on uh, um, Spreaker, all iHeartRadio, all kinds of different platforms. Just go down to the description below 
and you'll find out all the different links for that. And also don't forget to pick up your Ranger Rob poopy bags. It helps our channel, helps us, helps the environment, and uh, they're darn good waste bags for dogs. So guys, take her easy. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.